I S U P K. If you ain't angry by no pressure, if you ain't angry by 400 years of getting killed, that don't make you fucking question. If you ain't angry by no justice, if you ain't tired of seeing your people suffering with no power to do nothing, brother got his head cut off down in Mississippi. Another brother got choked out just for fucking pissing. You niggas need to listen. I just showed y'all the vision from past to present, and we still in the same condition. I blame the white man, but I blame you coons too. Steve Harvey, bitch ass, and this whole morning crew. What about Wack Clef with the hated just to help? Cherry my ass, nigga, you left with all the damn loot. Nigga, you Haitian too. That 16 million you took was water and food. You cock out Salo Pui Lugao. Now you nigga see. Tell them Chief Suck G. Don't never ask me why I'm motherfucking angry. Even though they holding hands, claiming to be best friends, they still hate you in the end. Angry black man. I ain't dying for no white man fighting in Afghanistan. So fuck being a veteran. Angry black man. And now you worship this white man as if it's God himself. Right. Which is a lie. You understand? So, that being said, let's see what the actual scriptures, the description that the scriptures give concerning who Jesus Christ is. And let's see if it owns up. Yeah. Revelations 1, and we're going to start at 13. Now I want you to look at this, but I want you to pay attention to what's being said in these scriptures. You understand? The same scriptures that your Christian pastor telling you that he's teaching you every Sunday. He lied to you. You understand? So let's go. Go here, soldier. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. Now I'm going to give you a little backdrop real quick. This is a description of Christ given by John, who they, whom they call John the Revelator. You understand? He was on the island of Patmos in prison. When he was given a description of Christ, he was shown a vision of what Christ actually looked like. You understand? Long ago. Okay? One of his disciples. John was one of Christ's disciples. You understand? Who walked with him. You understand? So let's, let's see what it says. Come to one come. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 13. In the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to his foot. Now it was clothed to, with a garment down to his foot. You understand? Keep going. Come to one come. And girt about the paps with a golden girdle. And it said, girt about the paps with a golden girdle. Now you gotta understand that the golden girdle is a war belt. You understand? It was a war belt to protect his loins and his ribs in battle. You understand? He was girt about his loins with a, 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 a war belt, a golden girdle. You understand? Because Christ is a man of war. Right. Right. And did this look like a man of war to you? He just wants to hug you. He just wants to hug everything that he can possibly get his hands on because this right here, the truth about this image is this is a homosexual. That's Bro, right. You understand? Not, I'm not telling a lie. This is a homosexual. Let's keep it going. Come on, one come. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. His head and his hairs, meaning the, the hairs on his face, the hairs on his head were white. Like who? Like wool. Like who? Wool. Who has the woolly hair? It looked like he looking like his father to me. I just gave you a description and back in Daniel. Daniel gave the description. I brought out the description and he said the most high. That hair like wool. Now we have a uh, uh, description of his son. And again, hair like wool. A hair full of wool. Hair full of wool. A wool he woolly hair. Nappy head. Nappy head. Christ was a black man from the tribe of Judah. That's right. If you didn't know. He was a black man from the tribe of Judah. You understand? According to the Bible. Not my own words. Keep it going. Come on, one come. And his eyes were like a flame of fire. His eyes were like a flame of fire. Not light blue. His eyes were like a flame of fire because he's not, he's not playing around. He's not someone that you can play with. 
like y'all do this image. That's right. You know what I'm saying? I didn't heard people call this image queer. Talk about crisis queer. Yeah, you better hold your tongue before you lose your life. You understand? It ain't nothing queer about our, our safety. Right. But it is something queer about this image. Right. Because this is a homosexual and this is a lie. It came straight from the Catholic Church. It came straight from white supremacy. You understand? Keep going. Come on, what come? Verse 15. And his feet, like unto fine crap. Now his feet, that was the part that was uncovered. Because it said he had a garment down to his foot. His feet was uncovered so he, they could be seen. And it said they were like what? Fine brass, like fine brass. Now tell me, what is, what is the color of brass, anybody? Can anybody tell me the color of brass? Do it look like this? Does brass look like this? Don't be scared to answer. Come on, don't be scared to answer. Does bronze look like this? This is, this is blood showing forth through your skin. This is the red man where blood shows forth through his skin. That's why, that's why his nation is Edom. Edom. You understand? But it said, our Savior, clothed down to the foot, and his foot were like fine brass. Keep going. As if they were burned in a furnace. Now you gotta understand something. Brown is a derivative of brass. And if you heat anything, if you put anything in a fire, anything, what color will it turn? If you put anything in a fire, what color will it turn? If I put this flaming homosexual up under some flame, what will he turn? He'll turn black too. That's crispy. Right. And that's all this is good for. That's the only thing this image is good for is firewood. That's right. Firewood. Because right. this is a, it's a lie. That's right. Straight from your oppressor. Right. That is not the image of Jesus Christ. That's the image of a man named Caesar Borgia, a homosexual. And that is the image of white supremacy. And that's, this is part of the war waged to get you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Indian. So you can hate yourself and every connection that you have to these scriptures. Yes, more man. Come on, come. And as the sound, Salaki, and his voice, as the sound of many wars. He wasn't no, he wasn't no, oh, how are you? Oh, how are you? I love you. I love you, brother. He wasn't like that. He's a man of war. Stern voice, giving orders, orders to angels. You understand? Orders to his servants. You understand? And he's going to give the orders for anyone that doesn't bow down and serve him. He's going to give the order for you to be slain. Right. Because he is a man of war. Right. He ain't trying to love everybody. Right. You understand? That's a lie from the, from the Catholic Church as well. Right. That's a lie from the Christian Church as well. Right. He didn't come for everybody. You understand? He came for his niggas. You understand? One west till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I be one west to the death till they bury me. One west till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I be one west to the death till they bury me. I be one west to the death till they bury me. They ain't scaring me. Rip the soul out of Pharisee. Speaking heresy and get you fucked up apparently. It's like they daring me. I said chill. They ain't hearing me. They ain't listening. Every bar nitroglycerin. Hit your heart. Bring it back to start. Make you live again. Get them dividends. So we start getting ignorant. I be on that soldier shit. I told you shit phenomenal. Nah, but he a domino. So what you suck to trying to do? Rhyming comical. Guess it's funny until I'm bombing you. Bring apocalypse to them pussy niggas that's popping shit. Team up. All stars, I coach him up like I'm Popovich. Fuck the politics and the lobbyists and apologists. They vagina, so we gon' check them like gynecologists. It's kinda obvious how the situation is ominous. The way I vomit this and regurgitate for the audience. They start applauding this cause the competition is fraudulent. From the era where niggas smoke you up like a parliament. The flow been stupid, shit has gotten retarded since. All the dominance of one west rising to prominent. Cause I be one west to the death till they bury me.